Polygon Matic is attempting a break above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart and also a break above a significant key area of resistance above the 0 0.43 to 5. And the moment you manage to break above those significant highs, I will continue expecting higher prices in a move that is also obeying the additive structures. And on today's video, I will be discussing my short term price prediction analysis and also my long term price prediction analysis. And jumping to the daily chart to start with the long term price prediction analysis, you can see that here on the daily chart after making our bear market lows back in 2020, we saw an aggressive bounce to the upside taking us to all time highs above the 2.93 in a move that I'm terming as an edit wave count one. Then we started a breakdown move in the formation of a larger edit wave count two whose minimum target areas I have highlighted on the charts using this red target area which is an area that we have now fully maximized. And this is an area that I came up with by connecting the fibs from the bear market lows to the all time highs, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.88, which is an area that you have now fully maximized. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place in that second wave. And in the next coming weeks or maybe months, Matic can easily see an aggressive bounce to the upside in this larger ADO wave count three in a move that should easily take us to new all-time highs and its minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that edge wave count one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies above the five dollar mark and for those of you that might be interested in taking a trade on Matic, you can check out BingX where you can claim up to 5,000 USDT in rewards and also claim that USDT in sign up rewards. And I have a link down in the description box. Jumping to the one hour chart to now discuss my short term price prediction analysis, still basing it on the additive structures. Here on the daily chart, on the one hour chart, you can see that. On the 5th of August, we saw a massive breakdown move in a move that gave us a low below the 0 0.3361. And afterwards, we continued to obey the additive structures where we first picked in this additive count one. And after we picked in that additive count one, we started a breakdown move in an additive count two whose minimum target areas I have marked on the charts using this red target area which is an area that we didn't quite fully maximize though we saw a reaction of that target area and gave us a bit of a bounce to the upside where we have now been stuck within this consolidation area and soon I'm expecting that Matic is going to give us a breakout out of this consolidation range maybe to the upside in what will be a continuation pattern to the upside in this ADO 12 count 3 whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci once again from the low of the first wave to the high of that edit wave count three count one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies above the 0 0.5195 so that is the price action that i'm expecting on the short term and for that to play out we first need to see a break above resistance at the 0. 4328 the moment that plays out with a successful retest then that will be increasing our chances of fully hitting our minimum target areas in these additive count three so that is what i'm expecting on the matic chart on the long term and also on the short term and that's all for this video and i hope to catch you on the next one <laughs>